<laughs> I recommend you try it out. Uh, so I see Hugs on the left. I don't know who our player is on the right. Mm. Uh, do you recognize his face? Uh, no, I do not recognize I him. I think Spooky has their names. He's going to put it on for us in a second. Yeah, we're going to see. Uh, Ray, it looks like. Ray. Ray, Ray maybe? Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call him Ray. I'm going to ignore the U. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and go <laughs> with Ray, too. That was my first instinct. Yeah, so we have HGGS Hugs. Versus uh, Hard uh, Gold, Ray. Soul Silver. I mean, wait. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Wrong letters. Um, Samus versus Sheik. How do you feel about this matchup? Uh, this is a matchup that Samus just really wants to be avoiding getting grabbed, which, you know, is one of Sheik's strongest tools, and that's something that Sheik wants to do pretty much every matchup she's in, uh, but it's especially one of Samus' biggest weaknesses. Yeah. Hugs okay. being a uh, long-time melee veteran, I'm sure has a lot of experience in this matchup, so yeah, I'm sure he has some tricks of his own for Samus uh, to overcome this, uh, what some might say, uh, a tier disadvantage. Yeah, it really is a tier of disadvantage too. I mean, if you notice, as uh, Ray is coming down with his Sheik, he's going to start down smashing. He's gonna, I'm going to catch you before you actually get to the ground with this. Just put it out a little bit before, so you don't have a, like an opportunity to get past it. I like that Hugs showed nice and early that he's not scared to grab. That's yeah, a absolutely. Samus's grab is very punishable. So a lot of players think you know Samus knows it's punishable. She's not going to grab, but yeah. then if you stay in your shield too long, good Samus players will capitalize and grab you because she gets I want a lot off her grab to be totally honest. Down throw on yeah, the more really floatier does. characters and up throw on the heavier characters. So Ooh, very nice. Great combo by Hugs. The combo is gonna take nope, not gonna take the stock. He's gonna wait it out on the stage. Nice dash attack. To buy a dash attack. Not sure what he was planning there, maybe a small super wave dash. Well, on the previous we stock, he jumped and bombed her on the platform to get, oh. try to get some bomb to some shield pressure. So I think he might have just bombed a little before his jump came out and uh, made a little bit of a flub there. But he has a, a two stock lead, and taking stocks off of Samus is not the easiest thing. Oh no, it's not. Well, the thing is, she's not very comboable. She gets so used yep. to comboing heavier characters. Yeah, and that is not Samus. She's a, she's able to jump out of almost every like setup attack that Sheik has. So it's gonna be really hard for Sheik to yeah. to do anything other than like down throw there. Yeah. Like that's probably gonna be nice tech. Nice, heart. very nice tech. Oof, great Forward trade. Smash. He'll gladly take that any day with the stock advantage that he has. Oh yeah, yeah. absolutely. You know, at this point, you start looking for trades even. Yeah, definitely. I know this is a small stage for like traditional Samus play. I'm not sure who struck first, uh, but I'm surprised it ended up here. I've, I, I've seen uh, Hugs be very vocal about, uh, about how he likes this stage because it gives Samus, she always has an escape option with the up beat. If she's near the ledge, she can fall back and grab ledge after she up beats out of shield. Or if she's in the middle of the stage, she can up beat and just land on the top platform. And it's, if she hit or made the person like ground tech or something with the up beat, then she's almost guaranteed safe. There's like no counter attack on the top yeah. platform. So he really enjoys a being to the top platform on Yoshi's own. Hugs and with a uh, solid three stock there. Yeah, definitely. I have heard legends about Hugs being able to up at it. She'll just never get punished for it. Yeah, definitely. Um, Samus players, they just they just love. I mean, that's one of her main defensive options. So yeah, the, the longer you play the character, the better you get at using it because you have to use it all the time. Yeah, because a lot of the times it's your best options and it's your only option. Yep. So you have to know how to use it when it's safe, how to make it safe even. I wonder what Hugs banned. Because I, I would have liked to see the MFD pick from Sheik. Samus players are really good at using platforms. Um, uh, I like to, to go back to DA West back in the old days. He used to almost always approach with like a double jump wave land on the platform and then like yeah. missile off or something like that and you've seen hugs do it already a couple of times on this stage so yeah, it's definitely that's a classic for uh, samus players yeah so i would i would have liked to see uh, a stage with less platforms or more awkward platforms like dreamland or something where she has to go yeah. a little bit higher yeah, that would give uh, that would give Ray a lot more escape options if the platforms were higher. Yep, definitely. Because like uh, Samus can come up with the up airs, with the nares, sometimes with the back air. That one's a little bit slower, a little bit harder to get out and aim even, uh, because you know, it's not like the nair where you can just pop at him. So like, I got this giant hitbox and I'm in your general area, so I'm gonna hit you with this. I believe on this stage, her up tilt hits the platform, like if right above her. Yeah. Like, it does. So if you're grounded on that platform or if she up bees onto that platform and Hugs is able to bait it to get on stage in time, he can. 
up tilt here, and his up and Samus's up tilt has so much stun if they hit the ground with opponent. Like it just like pops them straight up. So, oh, Hug's going for that uh, back tech chase with the blaster, but doesn't get it. All right, hopping up with a neutral air. Ray just he doesn't look comfortable in the matchup. He, he's going for a lot of aerial approaches. Hugs is just kind of avoiding them and spacing them. Uh, I would like to see a, lo a little bit more grabs. Yeah, I would like I would like to see a lot more grabs from him actually. Yeah, it's like Great the, I, I was right gonna say there. this at the beginning, but like the reason that grabs are so good for Sheik versus Samus is because if Samus is gonna come in with a dash attack or you know pretty much any number of moves, Samus is just gonna crowd cancel, down smash you, yep. or down tilt you out of that approach because Sheik's approaches are very easy to read. Yep, definitely. See, I think right there, like he needled him. That that was a free grab. Uh huh. But he chose to go for the attack, wound up clanking, and now Hugs has control of the stage. But this is good. I mean, Ray can uh, go back and look at the footage and see what he did wrong. So, uh, and this is definitely a learning experience. It's one of the best things about coming out to tournaments like Apex is you get to play the best of the best. Uh, yeah, you, you generally don't come to a tournament like Apex to win unless you're a very, very good player, you know, like one of yep, the top ten. Definitely. You just come to learn and just experience the tournament. Yep. There's a lot of hype to go around. Hugs is almost closing this game out. Which yep, needs a little bit more percent here to be able to finish off Sheik. Ray is getting pretty elusive right now. He hasn't taken yeah, damage is. in quite a while. All right, Gavir, really good choice right there. He didn't go for the follow-up. Like he's been at 48 for like almost 45 seconds now. Yeah. He's 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 being really defensive. There he goes. Hugs finally gets a hit, yeah. and that's oh, and he makes that hit count. Very much be it. Mm. Yeah, huh? It's gonna that's do gonna it. Be it. Great set by Hugs.